So now let's evaluate uh, minus 1 to the pi's uh, power, right? So what is this value? How do we compute it, right? Of course, you can you know, stick this expression to Wolfram Alpha or MATLAB or Mathematica or whatever software you're using, right? Uh, and then get a number out of it. Uh, but exactly how those software is actually, how those software are computing this expression, right? Um, we have to use the Euler's formula. So what the Euler's formula is telling us is that e to the i theta equals to cosine theta plus i sine theta, right? Um, and this i is the imaginary unit, right? So we can actually expand this kind of exponential expression into this real part and then imaginary part. And the real part is going to be the cosine of the angle theta. And then the imaginary part is going to be sine theta, right? So, so if you actually replace theta equals to pi, right, what you're going to get is that uh, e to the i pi is going to equal to cosine pi. Cosine pi, that's minus 1, right? And uh, plus i sine pi. Sine pi is going to be 0, right? So what we end up with is that e to the i pi is equal to minus 1, right? So, so now we know that minus 1 equals to e to the i pi, right? So all we have to do is to actually replace minus 1 with e to the i pi, right, into this expression. So e to the i pi to the pi's power, right? And then at this point, we can just multiply into it. So e to the i pi square, right? So what's going to be e to the i, uh, I pi square, right? Now we can use the Euler's equation again, right? e to the i something times something equals to cosine that something plus i times sine that something, right? But here the something is pi square now, right? So so what does it equal to, right? It's going to equal to cosine pi square, right? Plus i sine pi square, right? And at this point you have to use a calculator because um, it's there's no way to solve it by hand, right? So so cosine pi square is something that's kind of a, um, close to, let me get my calculator, something that's close to minus 0.9, right? That's cosine pi square. And then sine pi square is what? It's going to be minus 0.4i, about, about minus 0.4i. Right, so so that's um, that's actually the approximate solution uh, to this um, to this very nice um, problem, right?